Prince Charles and Camilla have enjoyed a special performance at the College of the Arts during a busy morning in Melbourne. As Tim McMillan reports, there was little time for, the, for rest as the royal tour headed to Adelaide. Another hectic schedule. In Melbourne, a friendly ambush of Charles by his old parachute regiment with fond recollections. He actually bought me a beer. Charles addressed a pet subject, architecture, speaking off the cuff. We could tackle the lost art of community building. Camilla embarking on her first solo outing to raise awareness of osteoporosis. I watched my mother die in agony. Those unhappy memories were eased aside as the couple flew to Adelaide. First stop, a primary school, meeting kids and teachers. It was fantastic. Touring the school's veggie patch while Stephanie Alexander helped with the cooking. This time the aromas were just too tempting. Normally when one is royal, one does not eat in public, but this time they couldn't resist sampling the harvest from the garden. At Penfold's winery, Maggie Beer was in charge. Charles and Camilla trying a drop of Grange, local cheese and Tim Tams. A wander along the city's riverside development led to a state reception, meeting koala rescue volunteers and getting a true blue Aussie cuddle. And Tim joins me now live from Adelaide. Tim, uh, they seem to be having a pretty good time. They do, Pete. They're having an absolute ball, I think. They're just uh, behind me at the moment, mingling with a few hundred guests here at Adelaide, Adelaide's uh, government house. Uh, sometimes on this tour it seems so strictly organised with security everywhere, but as you saw, that all went out the window uh, when they had a chance to meet a couple of koalas. They're slowly ticking off all of those Australiana experiences, but tonight they're back to government house in Melbourne to rest their heads, and tomorrow heading south to Hobart. Pete? Right, thanks. Tim